I told you she was hunting us! No, not her. I can't do this. I told them not to do it, I swear. If I knew you were the one they were talking about, I'd have warned you. I don't hold with kidnapping, not after what I went through. Didn't I save your life? You did, believe me. I still dream about those blood mages. I don't know where I'd be without you. I'd never have let them kidnap anyone I knew was one of yours. What are you talking about? They said someone was spying. We needed leverage. Someone they cared about, as a hostage. We just got word they took some lad from the Grey Wardens. You bastards kidnapped my brother! We weren't going to hurt him. Just make sure you left us alone. Do you understand? Thrask says Meredith will cause open war with the mages if she stays in charge. We have to take her down. Is this whole thing to oust the Knight Commander? She needs to go, don't you see? We need a real Viscount and Templars who protect mages, not massacre them. Just look what Thrask accomplished. Mages and Templars working together. Isn't that what we all want? Is Thrask the one running this conspiracy? He's the one who brought us together. For six years he's been working, one mage, one Templar at a time, teaching us we don't have to hate each other. He showed us Meredith isn't the only way. I thought you'd be the last person to join a conspiracy of apostate mages. They aren't apostates. They want the Circle. They want it to work like it's supposed to. To protect them. The mages aren't the problem. 
Meredith is. The Night Commander needs to go. That's what Thrask says. Without her, we have a chance at peace. What are you going to do to Thrask? To me? I'm not getting involved in this. Let the Templars decide what to do with you. No, please. If Meredith learns about this, she'll kill us. She'll kill every mage, even if they weren't involved. Your, your friend is on the Wounded Coast. We use the ruins there as a base. Meredith should hear about this. I I'll go back to Masha's. Please, don't tell Meredith about me. It would kill Masha if I got in trouble. Money enough comes through here. Why we have such trouble with smugglers, I don't know. All taken care. Not going to You've made no secret of your intent to lead the mages here in revolution. Well, I've tried not to shout it from the rooftops. You've just been around when I talk with my friends. Well, as we have mutual friends who for some reason don't want you to get hurt, let me tell you this. If you go forward with this revolt, the Chantry will bring its full might to bear. They will kill you. Andraste was killed. That doesn't mean she failed. 
Do not compare yourself to Andraste. You've been sticking your nose in every problem in Kirkwall since you stumbled off the boat. Who are you again? Samson. I'm the one who fouled up your lad Fainriel's escape some years ago. Further back, I was a Templar. But that was before your time. Are the mages here using blood magic? It always comes down to that, don't it? They claim innocence, demand equality, but back them into a corner, and they got options we don't. Haven't found a mage yet who won't take it. You were the upstanding citizen begging coins to get your next flask of lyrium. It's a long time since anyone could get under my skin with that. I know what I am. So it shouldn't surprise you to see me here, right? One more blockhead move that's gonna keep me in the gutter. I just wanted to see Meredith out in her ass. Like she did to me. It sounds like you've had a change of heart. I'd hoped with Meredith gone I could take up the shield again. But maybe she was right. Give him a hint of freedom, mages go bad. Your friends are right. Without Meredith, Kirkwall can be at peace again. Mages and Templars. Working together. I must be dreaming. You cannot think the Night Commander is worse than Blood Mages. I'd cheer to see her ship to Val Royo, But I don't have the stomach to turn against all that's right and natural to do it. I suppose it was too much to hope that you wouldn't have come here. Though I can't understand why you side with Meredith now. You showed me we can stand up to her. When you fought off Karas's thugs to save those mages. Please, champion. I have nothing but respect for you. It's Meredith we must see gone. I will not negotiate until Carver is standing beside me. I will not harm your brother. We will release him the moment I have your word that you will support us. No. The boy dies. Then the champion. Stand down, Grace. Grace? We saved you. What are you doing? We will not kill an innocent to achieve our ends. It gains us nothing to become Meredith. Meredith? What do I care for Meredith? I'm here for the champion. Whatever you want, just tell me. Decimus was right. There is no way for a mage to live by the Chantry's laws. You killed the best man I ever met, but I learned all he had to teach. Elaine, kill the hostage! I... I don't know, Grace. I thought you turned your back on blood magic when you saw what happened to Decimus. You don't know what it's like. 
We're locked in our cells all day, no light, no air. The Templars ask things of us. When Thrask offered a chance to make a better circle, I had to take it. But, Grace, this isn't right. Meredith's to blame for what's happening, not the champion. Don't defy me, boy. Without me, you'd be nothing. If you're too squeamish, I'll do it myself. No. No one has to die here. <laughs> oh, but that's where you're wrong. Restrain yourself. Forget the hostage. Kill the champion! I tried to stay away from her, you know, after Decimus. But the circle here is worse than Starkhaven ever was. It seemed like hers was the only way out. I... I'm sorry. Grace used blood magic to hold him. There's no other way to wake him up. Out of my... What? Where am I? I promise. I'll never let anything like this happen again. Thank you, sister. It seems I am again in your debt. And shadow. They're meeting in here, Sir Callan. Oh, I guess you didn't get on so well with these mages as you thought. Champion, Samson never said you were involved in this. I trust you were here to stop these traitors, not join them. The Champion's a fine lady, sir. She wanted to solve this peacefully. Yeah. Put the mage to questioning. The boy stood up to his elders when they would have killed an innocent hostage. Hmm. <laughs> you mean he was one of them, save for a convenient last-minute change of heart? I'll encourage Meredith to take it easy on him. Thank you, Champion. Everyone else here is under arrest. Take them to the gallows. Is there any recommendation you would have me bring to Meredith, Champion? She should consider reinstating Samson. When it came down to it, he showed where his heart is. True. Samson, you have done us a great service. Do you wish to take up the shield once more? M more than anything, Knight Captain, sir. Then I'll see what I can do. Thank you, sir. 
Thank you. I suppose you're just thrilled how the Knight Commander's basically stepped into the Viscount's seat. She can't stall the process forever. It's not her place. Leaving the Viscount's seat empty will just tempt people to fight for it. It will cause more trouble than it prevents. Well, you've got a brain in there. The Knight Commander has dealt with the members of the plot you uncovered. But surely you're the only mage in Kirkwall who can approach the Knight Commander directly, if you wished. What would you have of me? I just wanted to see how an old friend is doing in this difficult time. After what happened in Ferelden, I told myself I would never again question the purpose of the Order. But it grows harder each day to tell whether I'm serving the Templars or only the Knight Commander. It may be that they are no longer one and the same. The first enchanter is playing a dangerous game. Your mage Templar group was conspiring to overthrow Meredith. I have a sudden deep regret I interfered. <sighs> you know, I was half convinced Meredith had engineered the whole thing to trick me into incriminating myself. If Meredith stays in charge, she'll run Kirkwall into the ground. Speak softly, friend. There is nowhere safe to say those words. But be assured. You are not the only one thinking them. Definitely not. Please accept this as my thanks. It will be of more value to you right now than my friendship.
Take a look at this. A blade of mercy? I remember these. You see them in the Imperium. Replicas of the sword Archon Hasarian used to kill Andraste. This one looks finely crafted. I thought it might be worth something. It is. Here, let me show you. These are gifts of honor, given to those who have performed a service for the Imperium. Denarius coveted them, as I recall. You don't talk about the Imperium much. It's not a place I remember fondly. Doesn't the Chantry forbid mages to rule over men? <laughs> ah, yes. Magic is meant to serve man and not rule over him. In the Imperium, they say that means magic should serve the greater good, which they claim the Magisters do. Do not believe it. What do the Magisters do that's so bad? What you call the Circle of Magi rules the Imperium. They control the Chiantry as well as the Templars. They claim the Magisters are governed by holy law, but they are the law. They do as they please, all of them. So they all use forbidden magic? The more powerful the mage, the higher he rises in the Senate. He makes the laws, he determines what is acceptable. Everyone who wishes to compete must do the same or be crushed. Perhaps it wasn't always this way, but it is now. The slave trade is still in operation in the Imperium. It varies from one Archon to the next. One outlawed it many years ago. He was quickly assassinated. Tevinta would crumble without slaves. The Imperium's elite know no other way. Seems like a slave rebellion would end that. There are rebellions all the time, actually. Most of them end poorly. The Senate always unites when faced with sedition. One day, things will change. Then the Magisters will see just how fragile their hold is. I heard that the Imperium has been at war with the Kunari for decades. Ever since the Kunari landed on the island of Saharan, yes. Eighty years ago? Perhaps more. The Archon demanded aid from the rest of Thedas. It didn't get him far. They've been at war a long time. The Kunari only ever wanted Saharan, which they have. The Imperium has made numerous attempts to retake the island, without real success. I believe the Kunari are saving their strength, building a massive fleet. When they wish true war, we will know. Are the Kunari that strong? They once fought all the lands of Thedas to a standstill. If they wanted to conquer the Imperium, they would. From what I saw on Saharan, they will not relent. They believe even more strongly than the Magisters that they are in the right. I'd like you to have it. For me? Yes. I think I'd like that. I'll think of the irony as I wield it. Thank you, Hawk.
Terrible things do happen, Sebastian. But what we see is only a piece of the puzzle. Only the Maker can see the greater picture. The guilty. Have you located any Canari blades? This is what I found. If you find more, bring them to me. Another invitation requesting the presence of the champion. How many noble parties are there each week? Poor Prince. I told him to stay off the bed. Coin I'd make selling my memoirs. The only thing Meryl's moved in. Maybe she doesn't feel that this is her home yet. You know, I'm starting to think Santa is watching me.